Now, the Honourable Member for Toronto, Danforth. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I would like to thank the member from Berthier Maskinonogy for raising two important issues in this place, which are food waste and food insecurity. Um, food waste is important, I agree. It's an important issue when we consider its environmental impacts. And food insecurity is something that must be dealt with because everyone needs access to healthy food to thrive. So I agree that these are important issues for us to address, but the problem with this bill, Mr. Speaker, and the reasons that I cannot support it, is that it draws a link between food waste and food insecurity, and that is not the proper way to seek solutions. So there are two issues here also as well. There is a wrong date. So I will start with the wrong date, and then I would like to speak about the link. As far as the date goes, the date was chosen to create a National Food Waste Day on October 16th. October 16th is World Food Day. That's a day when people across the world have a chance to talk about food policy and to reach out to each other to try and find solutions. So for example, Food Secure Canada will be having a conference in Toronto spanning the weekend that includes World Food Day where people can talk about food policy, the larger issues around food policy. And I myself personally will be present at the Leslieville Farmers Market where I can talk with people in my community about food policy, sustainable agriculture, food insecurity, and the issues that are important to them on a broader basis. And that is what we really need to talk about on World Food Day. So it is a mistake, I, I would propose, to put it on this date. But there's also a larger problem with this bill. And that is the fact that there is a link that has been drawn between food waste and food insecurity. Because food insecurity is due to poverty. It's not about the availability of food. And I would like to actually read a quote that I read from Nick Saul, who is from the Community Food Centers of Canada in the Huffington Post, um, who addressed this issue. He said, let's not conflate a food waste strategy with a poverty reduction strategy. It's destructive to do so. Are we saying that the poor among us are only worthy of cast-offs of the industrial food system? the more, majority of which is unhealthy food laden with fat, sugar, and salt, which increases the risk of diet-related illnesses. There's no question we can and must do better than this as a society. And Mr. Speaker, I agree with that point fully. We can and must do better to address food security and poverty, which is the underlying problem that we must deal with. Some of the ways that we can deal with this issue in a much more tangible way is, for example, with the Canada Child Benefit, which we have passed and people started receiving in July. The Canada Child Benefit actually focuses on providing funds to families in greater need. That is one tangible way to address poverty in families with young children. Increases to the GIS, which also formed part of the budget 2016, also deal with seniors in poverty, and that's another tangible way that we can address the underlying issues for food insecurity. And finally, the investments that we are putting forward in affordable housing is another step in the right direction to dealing with poverty, because people, when we're talking about food security, too often need to make a choice between having a roof over their head and having healthy food on the table. So, Mr. Speaker, I am very happy that we are starting the discussion about food waste and about food insecurity in this place, but I would propose that this is not the right solution and that we should be dealing with the underlying issues of poverty and with talking about food policy as a whole. Thank you.